and welcome to another top five video. Man, we are going through these. We are going through these like crazy. So we're going to continue the top five Disney's Hollywood Studios, but like the board says at the back, it's all about, about food. Feds. It's all about food. The feds. So the important stuff. <laughs> exactly the important things. <laughs> this is actually a mixture of quick service to table service to fine dining as well. So we've got mm. a mixture of everything in there for you. A little snippet of everything. Mm. So, should we start? Let's start from the bottom. Let's start from number five. Okay, it's a signature fine dining restaurant which is called the Brown Derby. Oh yes. So the Hollywood Brown Derby's Disney actually kind of copied the actual original restaurant from LA, California, which the Brown Derby was originally based from. Even the Cobb salad was based in the Hollywood one in Los Angeles, California. Ooh, there's a fact for you. Yeah, so when you go there, you've got to try the Cobb salad because apparently it's really good. Yes, and the, what, filet mignon is it's really good? Yeah, is the filet mignon is amazing. I think it's exactly the same menu as when I was there last time, mm. and it's amazing. And also, there's one thing you've got to check out, even before and while you're there, in that they have like on the walls kind of like decorated of celebrities of drawings it's like the caricatures yeah. of like actors and stuff and as well we know that quite a few famous people actually go in there as well so you do not know who actually eats in there exactly how do we know this well we know people who work there we do indeed there's also a book <laughs> in the actual reception bit before you check in you'll see like all the pictures and there's like a book and people actually sign it celebrities sign it mm. and sometimes they change the pages so you can kind of see different names and really cool like they say it's a signature restaurant so it is quite expensive yes. but if you're looking for something extra special uh, when you're eating out in Hollywood Studios that place is the place but exactly. if you don't have time to actually eat at the restaurant there is the lounge just outside which is like a cocktail area you, you sit on these uh, cocktail stools and you have appetizers drink the fine drinks that they mm, serve good uh, you get outside tables so like Steph said there's outside tables so you can enjoy the nice heat of Florida, mm. watch everyone walking by. And just have a drink and a little nibble before you go off to wherever you're gonna, whatever meal you're gonna go to. We're gonna move on to the next one. Mm -hmm. Next one is at number four. Uh, this will be our quick service, one of our quick service selections that we have, and that is Down Sunset Boulevard. Oh yes, it is Rosie's All American quick mm. service restaurant. Mm -hmm. Now this is right at the bottom of Sunset Boulevard, um, just right near the entrance of Rock and Roller Coaster. You can't miss it, it's yeah. just there. And it's they just on the left hand side and you will see fresh fruit around, mm -hmm. uh, but there are a number of places. Yes, there is. But our favorite one is definitely Rosie's All American. Because mm -hmm. they do pizza, mm -hmm. Caesar salad, mm -hmm. drinks, just awesome food. And it's just nice little quick service to kind of stop mm. off and And to top it off as well, if mm. you want an ice cream. Not any ice cream, Steph ice cream sandwich yes which you have to make sure that you eat it by yourself because people claim it and it's pretty gross and that is the all-american scoop and they do ice cream sandwiches to ice cream sundaes to even just you know if you don't want her anything else and you just wanted ice cream oh, it's yes. all there for you they and they've got some very delicious ice creams sorry oh yes lots of flavors mm. lots of flavors like butter pecan or pecan whatever you prefer mint cho mm. chip chocolate vanilla Everything. Loads. There's loads to choose from. <laughs> it's just a big list and I can't go through it all. It's too much. But it's a great way to stop off to get a bite to eat. So in at number three will be our second choice for um, quick service, mm. which would be the Backlot Express Cafe. Indeed it is. And that is right next to uh, Star Tours. Mm -hmm. Can't miss it. Also, also very close to Indiana Jones stunt. Now this place has recently just changed its menu. Mm -hmm. And we're looking forward to trying this. Yes, very much. Oh yes. Which is now based on the movies of Star Wars. They have the Royal Grand Burger, Royal which Grand is Burger. very similar to the Darth Vader Burger. So mm. it has a black bun as well that we're really super excited for. Uh, chicken tenders, they do hot dogs, they do chicken and waffles. Mm. And they also do this like amazing salad. Like this, uh, a it's like a chicken salad, isn't it? Uh, a galactic chicken salad. Chicken and it has salad. this like weird sort of tortilla chip in it and it's got prints of um star wars and i think it's got like a stormtrooper on i'm not too sure um, well, I, do you know what i'm gonna get it when we go there i'm gonna go for the salad 
That clearly is never going to happen with you. It will. I think it will. <laughs> In at number two. Number two is a place actually you guys voted for on our last trip. Yeah. Which we were really quite surprised on how much we enjoyed it. <laughs> and it is the 50s Primetime Cafe. Yes. Now, 50s Primetime Cafe is located right next to um, Hollywood and Vine and mm -hmm. right next to the Indiana Jones stunt show. Yes. Um, it is a 50s themed restaurant, hence yes. the name of the place. All we have to say is be prepared. Yes, be prepared okay. and if you want to dine in this place, it's highly, highly recommended that you book, book because it is virtually impossible to actually get a walk-in. It is a table service and mm -hmm. it's only one di Disney dining point as well. Yes, it is indeed. So the place is actually inspired by, you know, just going around your mum's house and it's very all 50s inspired living rooms or different rooms are all living room or dining room. Yep. And they got old retro TVs in and everything like that. And everything is down to the T when it comes to interior for 50s. It is. 50s you, interior. You've got like the shelves with all like the sort of ornaments yeah. your, like your nan used to sort of have or your mum. It's just 50s inspired indeed. Not only the interior, the cast members as well have got it down to a T. It's absolutely it fantastic. These guys literally make like the interior and everything and the food is spectacular and everything's wonderful but these the cast members literally make the magic in that place mm -hmm. it is just incredible on how how much they are in character all the time they improvise straight away they are absolutely brilliant i've never felt so nervous sitting on a table in yeah. a restaurant all my time with my hands yeah. hands underneath my my legs and my bum just sitting again i'm not doing anything I'm not going to be in trouble. We were lucky though, he liked us, so. He did. Uh, what did I have to call you again? Uh, sweetheart or something. Sweetheart, I had, to, I, I, had to, I had to keep calling you something for the host goes, you make sure, and then, so make sure you eat your vegetables, and he even warned you not to put your no, elbows, elbows on, on the, the table. table. <laughs> so, but hey, it's a fantastic place, we recommend it. And if you are to go in there, and if you can't get a reservation, there is always the bar area as well, oh, and much. it is recommended to try the peanut butter and jelly milkshake. Indeed. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to finish this off with number one. This is a place that I've always wanted to go to. Yes. And when we did, it's the best decision we ever made. Yes. And it is the Sci-Fi Theatre Diner. Mm -hmm. And this is basically based off the old, the old fashioned American going to the theatres in your car. Drive-ins. Drive-ins, yeah. And it's fantastic. You've got like, like sort of tables that are designed of like cars that you can sit on. The service is amazing. and It's kind of great for families, especially mm. Especially if you've got, if you just want a break from the kids because everyone sits in twos and so you can kind of leave like the children in their own row to do whatever you want and then you can have just a, a nice, nice dinner and you know, you're not affected by them at all or anything no. like that. Because there's a big screen as well so the kids can just watch the cartoons and stuff. Yeah. The parents can just enjoy themselves. And this is another place as well that the cast members are literally on form, literally. Yeah. They're on point and they are in their element of what they're doing and they keep it real. Yeah. It's like the check. When you ask for the check, it will say uh, parking violation on it. Yeah, it will, yeah. And it's so funny. It's like, this so is good. your ticket. <laughs> so. The one thing we would say is always check out what the seasonal burger is. Yeah. Seasonal burger changes obviously every season. And the milkshake one as well changes milkshake. as well. And also one thing we would definitely recommend is definitely trying the candy bar dessert. That was really good. And when you're asking for a soda, they they've got grenadine as well. They've got yes. like cherry they've got different flavoured syrups. Ask them about what flavoured syrups they have mm. because that is included. It's not an extra charge and it's free refills, so you can have like cherry coke. And they load them with uh, lots of cherries in there as well. And the drinks are really good. It keeps us very happy. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that is our top five places to eat in Disney's Hollywood Studios. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. We really much appreciate it. Also, if you're new to this channel, mm -hmm. you've just seen the first top five, check out Welcome. our playlist. Welcome, indeed. Check out all our other playlists of our other of hints and tips. And also click that red button. Subscribe. It's free. And you will be the first to know about any new videos that are coming up on this channel including brand new vlogs that are coming very very soon because we're back to Disney World next month oh yes and we are so excited so until then guys I shall see you very very soon bye, bye now